What you guys got another video here for you. Is this the best budget Windows tablet that looks like a Microsoft Surface Pro? It's made by Chewy and it's the Intel HI10 Max. This one comes with its own stylus, keyboard and actual uh, tablet itself. This acts like a laptop, a creative station and also a tablet all in one. And we're going to take a look at it in this video. Now, also, I just want to point out that just for full transparency, Chewy did send this out for review. All my opinions are my own and no one is reviewing this video before it's released. Inside the box, you're going to get your power adapter. You're going to get your user manual, your warranty and all that sort of good stuff. You will get a different plug depending on what part of the world you're in. I'm in the UK, so we get a, a UK plug and it does have a type C connector on the end here for the tablet. You also get the keyboard itself here. These are an optional extra that you can add in when you're purchasing. The same thing for the stylus. And there we have the tablet as well. It's really easy to set up. It comes with Windows 11, but it is a local account during the setup. Pretty easy to do. You can opt out for all this stuff like you would do generally on a normal Windows installation. If you don't want Windows on here, you can install Android on here and you can also install Linux on here as well. It works with all of those operating systems. Now the processor on this is a 12th gen Intel N100, four cores, four threads running at 3.4 gigahertz. It does come with 512 uh, gigabytes of SSD and that is a KPAR SSD and the speed here is the PCI Express 3.0 times 4. That's what it says on the actual uh, crystal disk info. I will run a benchmark for that just to show you the speeds that you'll get with this particular type of drive. So we'll run that benchmark right now. Now the memory on this is 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 running at 4000 megahertz. So let's quickly do the benchmark. As you can see here, the sequential reads and writes. The sequential reads are 3556.45 and the writes are 1960.43. And you can see the other specs there for 4K, 349.82 and 218.21. So let's go ahead and run a Geekbench 6 benchmark for the CPU so we can get a score. So the single core is 879 and the multi-core score is 2529. And remember that's for a 12th gen Intel N100 quad core four threads CPU inside here. So not too bad, really. Let's take a look at the GPU scores here. I'll run the GPU benchmark on here as well, and we'll see what sort of score we get for the GPU. 3,226 is the open uh, CL score for the GPU here, which isn't too bad for a budget tablet. Let's take a look at the display here. Now, the display on this is a 12.96 inch in-cell display IPS panel. That's 2880 by 1920. That's 3K resolution at 300 nits with Gorilla Glass and it's ultra thin narrow bezels. As you can see, the quality of the display is really, really nice. It's going to be great for movies and things like that. The blacks are pretty good and the colors are pretty vibrant on this particular uh, tablet. Running a 3 by 2 ratio, this is not a bad screen for a budget tablet. And as you can see, the colors really do pop. And remember, this is going through another camera. So you're not really getting the true representation of the colors on this particular tablet. It really does look really nice. So having a really good display is really important. So the battery on here is a 4,800 milliamp hour battery uh, running at 7.6 volts. So you can enjoy extended battery life of up to five hours with this particular type of uh, tablet. The charging is 12 volts at 3 amps DC. And the full dimensions of this particular tablet is 278.89 by 192.39 by 2.35 millimeters at 780 grams. The scrolling is really, really smooth, as you can see here. No stuttering or jerkiness here, which is really important if you uh, want a really smooth tablet. So you can also zoom in here, and the font looks pretty clear as well. So if you're looking for a tablet for reading, then something like this is really nice as well, because you can get really nice clear fonts if you're looking for a reading tablet. Gaming on this particular budget tablet is probably not the best. It can play some mild games here, as you can see. There's a little bit of warp in here, and this game is not that difficult to play. 
So it's not the out and out best for gaming, but it can play some low level games. But that being said, it is still playable. It's not too bad. But if you're looking for a tablet as a gaming tablet, then this is probably not the one for you. But you can see the odd little warp there uh, when you're playing the game. It's not too bad. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out to you. And again, this is quite a low level game. It's not really highly intense gaming. It's from the uh, Windows Store. So you can imagine it's not that difficult to play. So let's quickly take a look at some of the features on the actual tablet itself. You've got the connectivity here, which will allow you to connect your keyboard on here. And this is a magnetic connection. So it's really easy to connect. On this side, we do have two USB-C ports and a, a little micro uh, HDMI port on here as well. They do have little LED lights here to tell you when they've been populated. On here, we do also have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and also a USB uh, type A port here. We have some ventilation here to allow the uh, tablet to breathe and you have your little rocker buttons here for your power button and function button for like audio and things like that. So that's on there as well. Now on the back of the tablet, it does have a case already mounted to it. This is magnetically mounted to here. You've got your camera here. Now the actual camera here is an 8 megapixel AF rear camera. And we also have a 5 megapixel on the front as well. Now you should be buying a tablet for its camera capabilities, but it does work and function pretty well for a video conference or something like that. You could use that. Now it's made of a unibody metal design, and you also have a keyboard here. Looks like some sort of synthetic lever on the front here. The touchpad is not the biggest in the world, but it does function and you can use it and it is usable and it is quite sensitive as well. So to drop the uh, tablet in, all you need to do is just drop it in right here and it just slots right in on the uh, magnetic connector here. The keyboard is backlit and you can change the brightness of it, but you can also change the color, I think, of the actual backlight as well. But don't quote me on that. But other than that, you can change the position of the keyboard here like so. But one thing I do want to point out is on the back here, it's made of some sort of felt on the back of the keyboard. And you can see already it's starting to get scuffed up and dirty and dusty. And it's a bit of a dust magnet on the back of the keyboard. And this is going to be covering the screen. Now, inside the actual stylus here, there is just a battery. You do need to remove the little sticker so the battery works. Otherwise, you might think the stylus is not working. But it's just a general normal battery inside here, which should last for ages. So this obviously means that we can turn this into a tablet, a creative station, and also a laptop, which is really useful. Now, I'm not really creative with these touchpads, but there is some people out there that are pretty good at it. But again, the pressure is how much pressure you put down will determine how thick the lines are. The cameras are OK, like I pointed out here, but I'm not going to go too deep on the cameras because at the end of the day, it's a tablet and you'd just be using this for video conferencing and things like that. You're not going to be using it as a, an out and out camera and video recorder. But other than that, it does work pretty well. So let's take a look at the photos here. You can see here, this is what it looks like for photo snaps. You can take small little photos with it. If you're looking to take little quick snapshots, you can do. Now, I wanted to point out here with the keyboard here, it just slots in like so, and you can see it automatically click into place. The back stand is pretty rigid and pretty uh, sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it. So this is when you can turn it into some form of laptop. So you're getting the laptop, creative station, and also a tablet all in one. So all in all, what do you guys think of this particular bundle? It's not too bad if you're looking for a, a cheap budget uh, tablet that does a pretty good job. You've got Wi-Fi 6 on here and also Bluetooth 5.2 as well. So all in all, you're getting a pretty decent all-round uh, tablet, uh, creative station, and laptop. So I do think it's a, a pretty decent little deal if you're looking for maybe a little gift this Christmas or maybe you're looking for a cheap tablet for yourself. If you're just buying the tablet itself, it's going to cost £251.36. There is also a discount code there. Just for the tablet and the keyboard is going to cost you 278 15 And then for the tablet and the stylus, it's 269 But if you want all three for the tablet, the keyboard and the stylus, it's going to cost you 
a maximum of £295.49 pence, and you can get that discount code on there as well, which obviously brings it down, which I don't think is too bad for a tablet uh, and also a keyboard and stylus. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out from the YouTube members. I do appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.